Hello, this is Jesse, the community manager at Bold Grid, and I'm here to answer a question from one of our users today. Uh, Carolyn wants to know, how do I set up my images so that the page name it's linking to is displayed when one scrolls over it? Um, excellent question, Carolyn. Um, in the business, we call that a hover effect, and it does take a little bit of customization, but I'm going to walk you through it here. So. Um, here you can see I've got just a blank page in the Bold Grid Post and Page Builder, and I'm going to go ahead and add an image to act as our link. Um, so when I choose this, um, you can see that it has a couple of different options over here on the right. Um, one of these is the caption, and that's what we're going to use for the hover text that you see. So in this case, I'm going to link to the Contact Us page, and when you go down to the Link To, um, just make sure that that link goes to the page that you're linking to. So here I've got the contact us link on this site. Um, so caption and link and we're going to go ahead and insert it. And so you can see now that I have this image um, with the caption below it which is how it would normally be displayed. Um, and there's just one thing I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead right here in the um, content menu for this image. I'm going to click the menu and go to the advanced control and you can see here that um, we have a couple of different options that we can do for this thing but down here at the very bottom is the custom class and so I'm going to go ahead and give this a custom class and I'm going to, just going to name it something that's easy for me to remember um, in this case I'm just going to call it hover caption display because I'm going to be displaying the caption when I hover over it so um, we're going to go ahead and save that now and update the page. And when that's done, I'm going to go ahead and view the page here. And so now you can see I have my image and I have this caption that appears when I hover over it. So here's how we got there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the customizer. and go to the advanced section and look at the advanced uh, CSS, a custom CSS. So I've got a couple rules here. Um, this one here, the very first one, all this code is going to be in the description for the video um, so you can copy and paste it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and set this figure uh, with our custom class hover caption display um, to be a relative position and overflow hidden. Um, the overflow hidden part is what's going to make that disappear when I leave it, when I'm not hovering over it. Um, next CSS rule here is the actual caption. Um, so for the actual caption itself, I'm going to give it an absolute position, um, left, right, zero, height 30, line height 30, and the bottom at negative 60. Um, you can change these settings depending on what you need for your site. Um, but as long as the bottom, the negative number, is twice as b uh, big as the height and the line height values. Um, I centered it. I gave it that background. So this is just a white background that's semi-transparent. Uh, the text color is black. And I added this transition to give it that nice animation effect. And then the last rule that we have here is the um, actual hover display. Um, so I, when you hover over it, it's just going to change the bottom of that um, caption to 40% of the image height. And it's going to use that same transition of half a second to go. Um, so that's what gives this nice animated effect when you hover over it. Um, so now once you've got all this code in here, all you have to remember is anytime you want your images to act like that and you go to the actual page, um, then all, all you need to do is add that one custom class to the image, the hover display, um, hover caption display. So um, once you've got all that code set up, just add that same CSS class and you'll be able to use that on any image link that you want to. Um, there's plenty of other ways to accomplish this. There are plugins in the WordPress repository that give you all kinds of hover effects for your images and things like that. Um, this way is a little nicer for your SEO because it uses just plain HTML and CSS to accomplish it um, so that Google can see that your caption is relevant to your image link. And that way it's going to give you just a little bit of an added boost rather than using JavaScript or something like that. 
So um, I'm going to go ahead and put all that code in the video description and in your comment. You can copy and paste it. Um, if you need to customize it, let us know how you need it to look and we'll let you know um, some tips. So I hope that helps, Carolyn, and have a great day.